Shifting our focus outside of Korea now, Washington warned the World Trade Organization to make the right choice when it comes to granting China market economy status. While Beijing demanded be freed of importers' anti-dumping tariffs on Chinese goods, other members have been resisting the change. For details, let's turn to our Lee Ji-won. U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer warned that granting market economy status to China will bring cataclysmic consequences for the World Trade Organization. That's what Lighthizer told Congress on Wednesday regarding China's demand that it be recognized in the WTO as a market economy against the wishes of the U.S. and the EU. He added that China's case is the most serious litigation the WTO has on its plate for now. He did not mention what measures the U.S. would take if the new status is granted to China, but simply said that he assumes the WTO will do the right thing. This comes six months after China filed a complaint over its market status in the WTO, which it joined in 2001 as a non-market economy. Non-market status allowed its trading partners to use a special framework to compare the prices of Chinese goods with those of third countries to determine if Chinese exports are too cheap and then impose anti-dumping measures accordingly. The terms of China joining the WTO say those conditions would expire after 15 years last December. But major WTO members, including the U.S. and the EU, have been resisting, arguing that China's market economy status is not automatic. Many Chinese firms are state-owned enterprises, and I believe this is why the U.S. and EU are reluctant to accept China as a market economy because these companies still run according to government policies and orders. So there are concerns that trade and markets will be greatly influenced by local politics and foreign affairs issues. The expert acknowledged that Chinese goods will likely become even cheaper with market status, but time will tell whether that would lead to drastic changes in the WTO. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News.